What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we've got something cooked up pretty cool. Um, we're gonna be trying to do this again. This is gonna be the second time I've ever covered an OTA. Uh, and I wanted to just discuss some things. Um, and also in this video, uh, with it being said, I'm actually going to also be discussing um, some interesting decks that you can try based on some of the cards uh, nerfs in this deck. So with that being said, we're gonna just start with the first one and we're gonna just kind of go through it together. And then right after, we're gonna just, I'm gonna give you guys some decks that I think you should try that I think are gonna be phenomenal after these changes. So let's go ahead and get into the first one. It's gonna be Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom is now going from a 6-5 and the bots being uh, basically a four power. Um, back reverted to the doom bots being a five power so this means that you're gonna have 15 power spread between three lanes captain marvel is also going to be getting a nerf um she went uh basically originally from i think a five six to a four five and now she's going to be getting changed to a four four um i guess the moving uh portion of it was just really uh absurd people were doing a lot of things like shuri uh into it and creating this 10 powered card that would kind of fix the game and now that you know shuri is kind of a big part of that kind of combo and uh basically the silky smooth um they wanted to lessen it a little bit so that it wasn't as impactful i know that silky smooth uh, decks and other Shuri decks with this kind of thing were really making it a big thing. Um, I, I think Captain Marvel, it says right here, Captain Marvel has been one of the best performing cards in the two uh, best performing decks, traditional Zabu Hawk and in the new Angela Craven based move deck. So basically what we're talking about. So they're going to be getting a nerf, which is uh, I'm okay with. I lost to it in top 16 at the Marvel uh, at the Marvel Snap kind of convention. I, I got demolished by this by that by this particular form of a deck so um you know it's cool it sucks because i was just starting to really like the card uh but we'll still try it we'll still try it out i'm sure it's not going to be super duper impactful but yeah legion is now going to be getting a nerf uh, he is going to be going from a 5-8 to a 5-7 um i think just the additional power is definitely just pretty helpful uh, but i know that he does, his effect is extremely good in the current prevalent game. Um, and it's just very, it can be, it can be pretty oppressive at times, depending on the location you choose. So the, he's just going to get a one power nerf. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this. I mean, five, eight is still, a, that's a phenomenal stat line. Five, seven, still a great stat line. So although he is getting nerfed, it's not the worst. Um, now. This one's gonna be huge, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be showcasing a deck with this. Um, Rock Slide, Rock Slide is getting a massive buff. Um, basically, Rock Slide is going from a four five to a three three. Now, it may seem at first like this might be a nerf, and they may state that this might be a nerf. Um, but to me, this is a buff because I'm going to be running a deck with him and then I'm going to be showcasing in just a second. Um, but I guess they wanted to eliminate the Zabu Darkhawk a little bit, um, and put him in a three category with less power. Um, but I still think this is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's still pretty good. I mean, putting rocks in the deck early on is still a pretty solid move. I might even try being running Ronin with this. So we'll see. Um, and then next, next, the next deck, uh, next card is going to be getting a buff is Lady Deathstrike. Um, basically Lady Deathstrike is going from a 5-3 to a 5-4. Uh, this is kind of an awesome change because now she'll be able to be a little bit more powerful with the added buffs from cards like Forge or Shuri, things like that. And uh, yeah, it'll make it a little bit more consistent when trying to destroy other cards. Thus, you feel a little bit more impactful. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the decks. I'm just gonna show you showcase these in game um, so that you kind of get a better understanding of what I think a really good deck is to try with some of these changes. Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be my brand new Surfer Negative Darkhawk deck. 
Now, I do think that this deck is going to start being and seeing a lot more. Uh, I did personally create this myself. I did not take this from anyone. I did not see this from anyone. I'm sure people have made this before. I'm going to claim it for myself because I'm just cool like that. Uh, but, but by all means, basically this is just a surfer, a standard surfer deck with mixtured in key components of Darkhawk. Yes, I'm claiming it to be my own baby. Um, but this is basically one deck you're going to definitely want to try with the brand new uh, Rock Slide uh, changes. I think that now you're going to be able to do a lot of really cool things like Zabu into either Mr. Negative. If you don't draw that Mr. Negative, you still have great options like Zabu into Wong, into things like Rock Slide and Brood, which are going to be brand new three powered, uh, or, sorry, three cost cards. And um, basically, you'll be able to really buff up a Dark Hawk now. Uh, especially even like on a turn four, you'll have Rockside and Korg on a on a Wong, which is really impactful for you. Uh, that's a lot of rocks being be, be able to push out. You can do things like Darkhawk into Mystique. You can do uh, Darkhawk into Silver Samurai. You can do sorry, so, Silver Samurai, Silver Surfer. You can do things like uh, Mystique Darkhawk. You can do Mystique uh, Iron Man kind of combos. And uh, yeah, it's just got a lot. Um, and if all things break loose, you also have Sarah to just make things even more cheaper and this is going to be ultimately really solid for you i really think that this deck is going to be a problem and it's probably going to be a meta breaking defying deck just the fact that rock slide now has the ability to now be a three cost he is managed he is now manageable to get higher power as well as do far more disrupts with rocks so yeah Okay, guys, so the other deck that I wanted to go over is we're going to be revert. We are going to be reverting back to the old Cerebro 5. And yes, I do think that this deck is going to be pretty damn good. Um, basically, this is the new and improved Cerebro 5. You've got great combos and so many new and better ways now to dis uh, distribute five powered cards. You have things like Forge into Brood, into Absorbing Man, which we came up with the last OTA. Uh, and that has definitely seen a lot of popularity. Um, we've got Luke Cage just to kind of help out and just do really well. You can take out uh, Luke Cage if you want, and you can put in uh, Medusa. I actually think that this might even work out itself. Um, you have Titania, just because Titania isn't the worst card to have. Um, yes, it is a little bit of the mind games on the opponent's end, but it's still a good card. Um, <clears throat> you have Omega Red. You have cards like Silk uh, helping out uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. You have Polaris to help Spider-Man Morales. You do have a good way of moving things to help things out. Uh, you have the Cerebro 5, uh, Cerebro and Mystique combo which is really helpful for the Omega Red, as well as the Dr. Doom if you don't pull the Brood. And uh, yeah, this, this deck's got a lot of combos and I'm really happy because at the panel at, at SnapCon, I did talk about how this deck kept getting nerfed with certain things like, you know, it was getting nerfs and buffs, which I had to change out a lot with Forge and Dr. Doom. But now they're both in the deck and they're both really good together. So with that being said, guys, I hope that this video was information uh, was helpful and very informative. Um, the OTA is kind of exciting, really interesting time to be a snap player to, for by all means. And uh, you know, the game is just in an up and down, up and down, and it's uh, there's a lot of flavor. And I hope that these decks are going to be helpful. I'm going to be running these two decks today on stream. If you guys can, you guys can tune in live every single day on either YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, I usually stream on both. Um, and I usually do it around 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, California time. With that being said, guys, if you guys can, please like, subscribe. I work really hard on these videos. And uh, yeah, I will be seeing you guys later tonight. All right, guys. Whoa!